So this is our Halloween episode. It will be dropping the day before Halloween. And so with that in mind, I thought that in the spigot of the season, I thought that we could all just sit backwards in our chair, metaphorically, of course, with an unscripted discussion about candy. Candy, okay. Candy. Are there any candies, Bunny, that you feel strongly about, either positive or negative? I do. Um, I do. Chocolate. Uh, chocolate all the way. It has she, to be chocolate. She, she's chocolate all the way. I am. All the way. I, I don't know. There are some that I am fond of. It's not chocolate. It doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. I, I, well, let me. I like. Wait. What? The candy that I like. What candy do you like, Maxwell? Uh. Chocolate bars. All the chocolate bars. Okay. You and, oh, you you and, and me. You and me, Maxwell. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. We'll go trick-or-treating together. Mm-hmm. Let, 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 me just, let me just say this right now. I was going to work this into a Steve's unpopular opinion, but yeah. I don't think it's that popular to begin with. I'm just So I'm just going to come out and say it right here in our unscripted discussion of candy. Yeah. Fuck Smarties. Mm, I kind of like the Smarties, personally. Hey. Fuck the Sugar Daddies. Oh, yeah. No, no, I, I don't like sugar daddies. No, sir. I don't like any candy that could also be the name of a of a 90s swing band. Yeah. Yeah, the sugar daddies. I can already see them in their matching suits. The, you know? Smarties were like the pixie sticks before they crushed them up. Yeah, yeah. They, I just they I, had that same kind of taste. They came in a, in a little roll. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. Red vines or Twizzlers? I I I I I choose wisely. I I, I don't think I've ever had red vines to be able to tell. You never had red vines? It, it, literally, they're in every movie theater. Yeah. Oh, I don't buy yeah. candy at the movie theater. Popcorn and a drink is is more than more than what I'm willing to spend. When I was when I was young, my idea was, yeah. and I still think this is a great idea, to open up a convenience store that sells nothing but small items and open it up right next to a giant movie theater. <laughs> Not only uh-huh. that, but also sell like special shirts and jackets and purses. Yeah. To hide the things in. Mm-hmm. That is a very good idea. That is a. In my younger days, I I had a pea coat because I just kind of thought they were cool, and I yep. thought they were even cooler when I found out I can hide a six pack of beer in that nice. coat, and you would not know. Nice, very nice. There were like no bulges or anything. Yeah. Anyway, the the right answer is red vines. Twizzlers are shit. Unless you have those like twister ones where you yeah. peel them off, but no, Twizzlers are shit. I'm a I I am a big fan of Rolos in theory. In theory. Okay. In theory. Cuz when I was younger, I had an aunt uh Selena yeah. and she got married to a guy and they were really happy and he was a great guy and he was really nice and they were super happy. They couldn't have kids, so they ended up adopting a kid, and then the dad died, and then the kid went insane, and he yeah. shot a cop, and I'm pretty sure he's out of prison now. But anyway, that's that's my my family. But the 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 uncle, he loved kids. He was super good with kids, and I guess he was always prepared. Every, he knew every single solitary time he would see a kid because he always had – Rolos in his pocket. Uh huh. And so it got to the point where I, when I was younger, that it's like, oh, I can't wait to go and see, go and see them because I will get chocolate. Yes. When I go and see them and hang out with them. And so I would always get Rolos and it was always a big deal. And so he died. And so he, see, somewhere in my mind, I just equated Rolos with, with like happiness and with, relatives who liked me and with yeah. a good childhood, like Rolos equated happiness. So when I got older, you know, there would be times I'm at the store and I'm getting 
Uh, I'm getting food for the kids. I'm, I'm shopping, getting stuff. And then mm-hmm. suddenly I, I see some Rolos for sale there by the register. And I go, you know what? I will buy myself some Rolos. So then I, I take it home and I'm like, I'm going to eat these Rolos. It reminds me of my childhood. Let me open the wrapper and... Okay, there's a second wrapper over all of the candies. Okay, let me open that up. Oh, shit. Now they're all wrapped individually. (laughs) Like, there's there's wrappers in a wrapper Mm -hmm. in a giant wrapper. This is wrapperception, basically. (laughs) What's the point of this? I'm already pissed off. I haven't even eaten the candy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not get angry. I'm just gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna... Put this Rolo in my mouth and it's already stuck to my teeth. Okay, Rolos are shit. Mm -hmm. And I hate them and they suck. But still, in my mind, I equate Rolos with like positive memories and good times. So I really like Rolos. I love Rolos. Rolos are amazing! Until I eat them. Yes. Then I hate them and they suck. I I can see where you're going for um, yeah, I, I've had things like that that I always think is going to be a really good idea, and then I find out that it sucks like Rolos. I can't think of a good example of a though. Yeah. We always get we always get the exact same beer. Every time we get beer, we always get Coors Light, and Coors Light just that's the one beer that my dad drank ninety percent of the time and he drank a lot. Yeah. So like I just like Coors Light is just my home beer. It's just like 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 my home base, my base of operations is yes. just Coors Light. And it very rarely do I stray from that beer. But every once in a while I'll go, you know what? I'm gonna have me I'm gonna get me a different beer. Look let's see what's here. You know what, Budweiser? I'll give you a shot. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna drink you and okay your shit. You are horrible. Why did I get you? But I, I go through that like maybe every six months. Yeah. I'm going to try something different. Yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you're listening, number one, you shouldn't be listening. And number two, never try anything different. That's correct. Bella, do you want to record some, a, an audio commentary track with me? For a movie? Why not? Cool. There's this really cool movie that we're talking about this week that I think you'd really like. The other day, we were talking about movies, Bella, and you specifically said that you wanted to see a movie where a fake Jesus Christ shit into a ceramic bowl, and then a guy dressed like a video game bad guy turns his shit into gold. Did You said that the other day. You said it like three days ago. And so I got that movie now, where a fake Jesus Christ who 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 yells at uh, potatoes uh, shits inside of a bowl, and then a video game bad guy, like literally, like 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 someone from Mortal Kombat or like the end of a Mario level, yeah. gets fake Jesus shit and and alchemies it into a nugget of gold. So trying I, to trick me. No, I, that's exactly what happens in this movie. So I really think that you'll like it because I know this is what this is the the sort of movie that you've been looking for. Didn't you say that you you <laughs> want to watch more movies that feature underage Mexican topless prostitutes? Didn't you say that the other day? You said that the other day. Mm-hmm. You're like, I want to watch more movies with underage Mexican topless prostitutes. You said that. No, I'm good. I really think you're going to like this movie, Bella. No. You really do. No. You ever, you ever wanted to see cows do it? No. <laughs> oh, honey, oh, I've seen oh, cows God. do it. I've seen oh, chickens oh do it. This is such a crazy movie. No. You ever wanted to see a tree that was just filled with dead chicken carcasses? Yeah. No. No. Okay. This is a this is a wonderful film. Mm-hmm. You ever wanted to see a potato Jesus Christ yelling at a room full of mannequins? Uh, <laughs> they okay, were yams. Were to okay, that one. they were fucking yams. Oh, they were yams. Uh, 
potato Jesus Christ. No, I like potatoes better. Yeah, I like potato Jesus Christ. That just that just flows better. <laughs> here, Bella, I, I got that scene from the movie. I put it on my Instagram, so here you go. I'm showing Bella my favorite scene of the movie. Yeah. Angry potato Jesus yelling at mannequins. <laughs> it's the best it's the best scene. I, I love this scene so much that I mm-hmm. cut it into like a fifty five second clip and put it on my Instagram. Nice. There he is. Yeah. Angry Potato Jesus is really upset about all the mannequins. To be fair, if I woke up on a pile of yams and there were all these mannequins <laughs> of me, I would also be pissed. Yeah. Can you imagine that? You wake up, you're on a you're in a thong in a, on a pile of yams yeah. surrounded by a bunch of Bunny Williams mannequins. That's just nightmare fuel. Mm-hmm. It, it completely is, yes. And that's part of its charm. I can't wait to talk about this week's movie, is what I'm saying. This is, <laughs> this is, this is, cool. Yeah, so excited. Cool. So, so excited. 